Hello my wonderful people, my viewers and subscribers. The beer friends in the house. Hey, make on I hear this breaking news. Oh, this one, my dear brothers and sisters, this one is not for you and it's not a joke. The police people, the the the, the full and government of Nigeria have said their police. In fact, they are having a secret meeting and a secret plan here now concerning the I publish it at home coming the 30, 30th of this month after their so called uh, handover, if it will happen. They are devising another means. You, I am not saying this to incite anybody, but I just want my bare friend, brothers and sisters, family members out there to be what to be extra careful. To mind your movement, mind what you say, and mind where you stay to say whatever you want to say. I go on the Nakareka, Onyobana Megene, Onyobana Moranya. I go on the Nakareka, I'm talking to my brothers and sisters in the Biafran uh, region. Look at the headline here. Police react at Ipobo, others sit at home in the whole of the Southeast. And as that one is going to, the Ipobo come out now to tell you that industries, hotels, schools, churches, and others may shut down on the 30th of May as Ipobo declares total sit at home. To remember our fallen heroes, who, to remember those who are our forefathers who have fought diligently and laid their life for us today, for what we seem to be enjoying or what we are pursuing today, despite the fact that uh, the enjoyment, the, the, the payback is not here. But at least we can be able to hit our chest and say we have done amazingly well in this uh, uh, struggle. For the independence of Biafra, we have done well, we have done amazingly well. So, hello, my wonderful people, my viewers and subscribers all over the world. Oh, these two headlines I just gave on uh, today. Or oh, now, oh, this one is our point main, main headline before we can pick other ones to join to it because our news oh, is for different platforms oh, so that oh, every of my listeners out there, the subscribers and the viewers, will also get the glimpse of whatever is happening in other Mpara uh, of Nigeria or world at large. So if you never subscribe to my channel, this is the right time for you to do that. Just hit that subscription button and do what? And turn on your notification button you know, so that you will be notified each time there is any new update on my channel or any other channel that is related to Okute Daily Talk. So my wonderful people, let us take the other headlines. South East Senate also reject APC zoning of uh, Senate presidency. This one is coming from Andy Oba, I, sorry, if I knew Oba. Tunumbu to escape 10th National Assembly zoning drama may travel out soon. Hey, we never, we never, uh, this man never has uh, one, you know. He don't travel before, stay one month. Now he wants to travel again. Now, the same man who refused to show up to, to, uh, yesterday at the courtroom to defend his mandate, that is the kind of person that Nigeria wants to elect to rule them. The arrogance is too much. The arrogance is too much. Uh, he, the, he, man, he don't see Nigerians finish. One man is bigger than over 220 million intellectuals. And irritated for that matter. I'm sorry to use this word, but I'm irritated for that matter. So now, he wants to run out from Nigeria again. Benkona just knows, say, which one are they vote? Na photo, according to... Uh, he said, Na photo on a vote. That one is uh, during the time of Buhari. But this man, when they criticize Buhari, that they call a lot of people, say that they follow Buhari for Nyash, then, 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 that uh, they are Mumu, they are Mumu done too much. Now, that same person is, is, is singing praises for Buhari today simply because they bring a, a pipeline deal to guide the pipelines of the little Niger Delta to, to his doorstep. So now, he don't sing, uh, uh, what do they call it? Buhari praises. Very soon now, he will turn to Krisa Tunumbu. When another deal was given to him, he will start to sing a praises for Tunumbu. We know about all these politicians who always speak from one side of their mouth. Hmm. Voila, no the finish. Make on hear this one though. If I tell on I say that, that, that this uh, Fulanese want to Islamize Nigeria, some people will be saying, why? Why must we say that? They will give you an example that after all, the wife of a president select, Bola Tunumbu, Olori Temi Abi Kilongbe, is a Christian. He's even a deacon in a, in a regime church. 
and like this, like that. He never Islamized his wife, so how can he Islamize uh, the whole country? Then the question I have asked them in so many, uh, many times is, are you sure whether he's the one marrying the wife or the one, the one, the wife marrying him? Yes, because during the time of uh, our able uh, good luck, uh, Ebele Jonathan, where we the talk say, ah, good luck, he be, he be like this, he be like that, too, forgetting that the affairs of Nigerians is being run by his wife. Yes. Now, patients, good luck, uh, Jonathan, they run the affairs of Nigeria. He might not be fluent in English, but now him get the power where they give the husband strength to go wherever he want to go. So you people telling me that uh, the president select of APC cannot Islamize his wife, but uh, how can he Islamize the whole country? Let me tell you the simple truth. The Aousas, the Fulani, the Jihadists, they have already made it clear to us that this ticket of Muslim, Muslim ticket is the hard that uh, their people are planning in Nigeria and they are ready 100% to support them and which that is what they did. During this election, you will see a five-year-old boy with a uh, permanent voter's card that went to vote. That can't even spell A or B. When the CP, the Commissioner of Police in the Kano State was asked, he said uh, the look of a, child, a, a person does not determine that person's age. Till today, all our whole media house, nobody said about that issue. That issue died like fire. It quenched like fire. Nigeria, it, their, their short memory is too much. They too, they forget. They too, they forget. Let me tell you why I bring this thing out. In Southern Kaduna, we be saying that the place now only Christians dominate that area. They don't really kill the, 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 uh, those people. Finish. Yes, they want to. They want nothing like Christianity in their origin again. They can welcome uh, what do they call it. They can welcome uh, foreigners like Igbo, Yorubas to open church in their place. But to say that an indigenous of Kaduna, either from Southern Kaduna, Northern Kaduna, or thereabout, is a Christian is what they don't want. They have started the Islamization. This Southern Kaduna is the state of Erufai who took a federal government to court over another design simply because their, 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 their plans to, to buy votes with the money that have stuck since over eight years. They want to spoil the plan. They stand up, gang up against the federal government of Nigeria, take Buhari to court, and at the end of the day, the government, the CBN, they succumb to their pressure. And they did exactly what they have planned to do with the money. Buying votes, buying their way out, and making things difficult for the masses. This uh, Erufai does not see that it's fit for him to take federal government to court over the insurgents and insecurity in that southern Kaduna for the past eight years. He has assumed office as the governor of Kaduna State. They have been killing in Kaduna State around the 26th, if I'm not mistaken, December last year, they, do the, they did a mass barrier of, of how many people? 45 dead bodies, mass barrier. It did not last 24 hours. The same people who killed these people struck again and kidnapped over 53 of those same indigents. Southern Kaduna, the Christians. The other day, there was a massacre of over 33 people. Southern Kaduna, the Christians. Now, 25 uh, worshippers has been kidnapped as terrorists attack Kaduna Church. That is the headline. Make God see what they happen for Nigeria. Christians, make God open an eye to know say this country is no more safe. For once you are a Christian, you are no more safe in this land. I'm not inciting anybody, but I'm only stating the obvious. Ex-boxer rains punches on his wife. Over TV remote. This one is happening all in Nigeria. Allah is Shell Shell Sane, it don't react to as by on Onoga. She has a photo of Pito B purportedly sleeping in the court, and which is very, very lie. Eh? So to you, by on Onoga, you see Pito B who never rested since after this uh, so uh, so called campaign and the electionary period and the rest of them. He's the one now you are sharing his photo. First, it was uh, Adam Ogaroba who shared fake photo of P2B. I mean, a doctor and a Photoshop. Where uh, they write, uh, what do they call it? That uh, the Billy Eriwa, that the minister of uh, uh, Nigeria in diaspora, that she is the one that free P2B when he have a confrontation by the immigration uh, in the uh, UK. At the end of the day, he forced out to be fake. So, you all that went to court, even your own uh, presidential candidate does not show to the court, too. 
Now all he can do is going to the court looking for who is sleeping and who is not sleeping. Eh, kwa? Ha! Ha! Uh, bye or no no ga. <laughs> so my wonderful people, please, we have no time to waste. So let us take the, this, uh, our blessed nation news as it ought to be. Ebo State Command of the Nigerian Police Force has said that the sit-at-home order in the state by the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipobo, cannot stand. Nigerians understand that the, pers- uh, that the group led by uh, Mazi Namdi Kano had declared a sit-at-home in all Biafra land from May 8th through to May 11. In a statement he issued to newsmen in Abakaleke on Monday, by the police command uh, spokesperson, SP Onome uh, Onovu Akboye, the force asked the residents in the state to discountenance uh, the sit at home order by the agitator. Also. The statement quoted the commissioner of police, Ineboi, CP Faleye and Olaleye, describing the order as unconstitutional and unlawful. But in, in uh, River State, two days was given as a public holiday. By the state governor, nobody called it unconstitutional and nobody said anything. Now, the, the Biafrans have given their own order of sit at home. Not by force. Only if you believe in Biafra, they respect that those uh, three days. Because Martin Namdekano will be going to court on the 11th of this uh, May 2023. It reads, police is aware the, the statement of a, a circulation by a group that called itself indigenous people of Biafra, asking people to observe a sit at home from May 8 to May 11, 2023, for a reason best known to them. The order is unconstitutional, unlawful, and cannot stand. We therefore enjoin the good people of Ebony to discountenance the order and go about their lawful businesses without fear of intimidation, as the police is more prepared to provide them with maximum protection for their safety. The commissioner also urged members of the public to oblige the force with information about uh, threats to their safety in the state. We assure you that the command shall continue to be resilient in its determination to ensure criminal elements are denied the space to carry out their lawful activities in the state, the police command assured. So police is working. Are you sure the police is working? 25 uh, residents of 25 church worshippers in Kaduna have been kidnapped. Where are the police? Or is it only in the southeast that those police are claiming to be working? While they are busy loose guarding to the bandits, Boko Haram, Ishwab, and the rest of all the deadly groups operating in the northeast, northwest, and the north central. Nigerians, on our way down, sorrow, agony, and pain. That is what we are having in Nigeria. Industries, hotels, schools, churches, others may shut down on May 30. As IPOB declares total seats at home. Industry transport companies, schools, churches in the southern region of the country have been all to close down businesses on 30th May of 2023. That is the Remembrance Day for our foreign heroes and heroines. This is an, uh, this is an, uh, well, this is as the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB has declared a total seat at home for the Biafra Remembrance Day celebration. Nigerians understand that the separate group made this revelation in a statement issued on Monday by each uh, uh, media and publicity secretary, a more powerful. According to him, the declaration of the sit at home is in honor of those who died in the civil war and Biafran nation actualization struggle. I probably therefore say the day will be observed by the southeast region of Nigeria as businesses have been urged shut down in the adherence to the order. The group also asked people of the southeast living in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria to join the sit at home order, warning all residents of Biafra territory not to endanger their lives or their businesses by disobeying the sit at home order, as the directive is from IPOB leadership. Powerful states that this year's event will be special and the one day sit at home in Biafra land will be total will be total and will be from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on 30th, uh, on May 30th, 2023. Every economic, social, every economic, social, religious, and political activity 
in Biafra land will be suspended with the exception of hospitals, doctors, nurses, ambulances, and other health workers. All other people and workplaces are advised to sit at their homes. Once again, only hospitals and health workers are free to open and go about on the May 30th, 2023. Biafra heroes and the Biafra heroes remembrance day to take care of our wounds and the pregnant mothers and all other sectors including police stations should be under locks and keys within Biafra territory. We call on ind industries, companies, transport and companies, air, land and sea, hotels, schools and churches to shut down in honor of our heroes and hero news. Also Biafrans in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria I encourage you to join the sit at home on that day. It's only one day. We therefore advise Biafrans and other residents in Biafra territory to avoid endangering their lives or their businesses by obeying the sit at home order from IPOP leadership. Who is that IPOP leadership? I don't know. Wherever our people are or gathered on that day, they must pray with, light, with lighted candles and must observe three minutes of silence immediately at 12 noon. Finally, the only joy and rest to appease our fallen heroes and heroines is Biafra restoration, so we must continue the struggle. Remember those who died in the Nigerian genocidal war against Biafra. The mothers and the fathers bombed in the marketplaces, hospital churches, and those children that the Nigerian government starved to their early death. We cannot forget them till eternity. We also remember the victims of the Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, and Sahara Desert who died on the way to Europe in an attempt to escape the draconian and wicked economic and political policies against their France by the Nigerian state. This is the news I brought to you, my brother, Biafran families out there. Take it uh, the way you see it and make sure you observe that very day because that is the day to remember all our foreign heroes and hero news. Southeast Senators reject APC zoning of Senate Presidency, according to Ifani Uba. Senator Ifani Uba, the YPP Anambara South has stated that the Southeast Caucus in the Senate will not respect the decision of the All Progressive Congress APC to zone the leadership position in the 10th uh, Senate. Nigeria recall that the APC had on Monday zoned the Senate Presidency position to the South South, Goswil Akwabio. Deputy Senate President to Northwest, Jibreel Barao, Speakers, uh, Speakership to the Northwest, Tajuden Abbas, and Deputy Speaker to the Southeast, Benjamin Carlo. Reacting in an interview on Channel Television on Monday, Ifan Yumba said the Southeast would contest the position of the next Senate President despite APC zoning. According to the lawmaker, the Southeast Zone was not consulted by the ruling party before it arrived at the decision. He stated that the zone was being marginalized in the distribution of leadership positions in the country, adding that there are capable senators elect from the Southeast that can steer the affairs of the 10th National Assembly. Ifan Yumba said, For me and our people from the Southeast, we are still very strong. In, a, in contesting for the office of the Senate President of Nigeria for the 10th National Assembly. There is, uh, that is our position for now, according to Ufani Uba. So, in the course of consultation, we would continue to update Nigerians about our positions in the so-called zoning of the 10th Senate uh, seat. But for now, I am still in this studio. The position of the Southeast Caucus is that we are going to contest for the office of the 10th uh, Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Senate President uh, should be zoned to the Southeast or fairly zoned to the South. The only problem we are having is consultation. If there was a robust consultation among the people from the South by the ruling party, maybe we could have said we will give it back to the South South. But that was no consultation. It is like they are saying there is nothing you people can do. After all, you people are not Nigerians. According to Ifanyo Uba. Oga, okay, Mazi Tunumbu to escape potential National Assembly zoning drama may travel out of the country. 
<laughs> we never start and you're traveling out. <laughs> uh, Nigeria is a joke. President Selete Asuwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu may travel out of Nigeria at any moment. This was confirmed to the leadership on Monday night by the former Lagos State Governor, spokesperson Tunde Ramon. He said the President Selete Asuwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu may travel out, but definitely not tomorrow. According to the platform, Tunumbu is reportedly running away from all the drama about the zoning of leadership position of the 10th National Assembly. So, come on, 10th National Assembly, you are a president of the country. You cannot take a decision or at least organize. And this is exactly what Atiku did when the issue of G5 came up. He refused to handle it, and at the end of the day, it affected the party so much. You are running away simply because of uh, the drama that is happening in the Senate presidency and the speaker. Not even when Nigerians bring their problems of over 220 million people. That means what, what we do. You will even uh, allow from the country forever. Or maybe you can stay for heaven or wherever you choose to. To rule the country. Make sure they see this sign so Nigeria. This man is about to be showing us what will happen anytime he take over the office soon. Senate presidency, why obey Tunumbu when he asked me to step down for Akbabio Dev Umaye? Uh, saboteurs everywhere. 25 worshippers kidnapped as terrorists attack Kaduna Church. Government suspected to be bandits have invaded uh, Baji Baptist Church in Madala along uh, Buruku Barengi Road in uh, Chikun local government area of Kaduna State. Nigerians gathered that the bandits invaded the church during the service on Sunday and kidnapped no fewer than 40 worshippers during the incident. However, it was learned that 15 of the kidnapped persons escaped, while 25 of the worshippers are still in captivity. Speaking with the reporters on Monday, the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, chairman in the state, Reverend John Joseph Ayab, confirmed the abduction of the congregants. Ayab said the worshippers were in the Sunday service in the church when around 9.30 a.m. they started hearing sporadic gunshots very close to the church. He said the government attacked the church and went away with 40 worshippers, but thank God when they were going, somehow 15 of the worshippers' persons escaped. The five of the worshippers are still in the captivity without any word from their abductors. Ayab said efforts are being made to get the, in contact with the abductors concerning the remaining people and pray that the abductors would be merciful and release the remaining abductors to their families. Also speaking, uh, some of the church members said the attack was mere like a horrifying film because the bandits came in their numbers and operated unhindered because they were heavily armed. And as so, it didn't take the ex boxer he don't run punches on his wife over tv remote this one is happening all in nigeria a 56 year old former boxer identified as moses olapade reportedly ran punches on his wife tinuke while arguing over a television remote control nigerian news learned too that the incident occurred at a residence located at okaro community in akure the ondo state capital According to the punch, Olopade returned home from a journey and wanted to watch a television program. However, his wife refused to give him the remote to turn into his uh, preferred channel, led to a heated argument. Olopade, who is also a truck driver, out of anger, reportedly punched his wife multiple times till she fell down and became unconscious. The children screaming was said to have attracted the neighbors to the scene, and Tinuke was quickly rushed to the nearby hospital where she was resuscitated. Re re Reacting to the incident, the state police public relations officer Fumilayo Odunlami said she was yet to be briefed on the matter. The PPRO stated, I have called the DPO of the area, B Division, police station, but he said the matter was not reported at the police station. Notorious bandit killed in Kaduna lie. The Kaduna State Police of the Nigerian Police Force has confirmed the killing 
of a notorious bandit in a recent operation in the police mobile force pmf it was revealed in a statement issued during the week by the command spokesperson dsp muhammad jaliji that a group of bandits storm uh, kidandan village of giwa local government area of kaduna on sunday morning causing mayhem in the community having received information about the attack the pmf on routine patrol in the area engaged the terror group who were reportedly dressed in an army uniforms where did they get all this camouflage is what i cannot tell she was react to as by an shared photo of people be a purportedly, purportedly sleeping in the church the former lawmaker representing Kaduna Central, Shehu Sane, has reacted to a claim that the Labour Party presidential candidate P2B slept during the hearing at the election petition tribunal in Abuja today. Nigeria News report that the All Progressive Congress APC chieftain by Onondoga shared a photo of P2B allowing he was sleeping at the court. According to Onondoga, he suspects that the former Anambra State Governor is already getting tired. <laughs> he wrote on Twitter, Peter will be caught sleeping in court at the hearing of uh, his petition against President Select, Bola Tunumbu in Abuja. The man is already getting tired, I suspect. Reacting to the post, Shea Usane urged Onanoga to avoid defaming Peter will be saying he was not sleeping but meditating and thinking at the same time. He wrote, Brobayo, don't defame, defame my client. He is not sleeping. He is meditating and thinking at the same time. P2B state position on the torso for 10th National Assembly leadership. P2B don't lay his voice. Meanwhile, P2B has spoken on the ongoing leadership torso of the 10th National Assembly. According to Gringo Ryobi, Nigeria report that the former Anambra State Governor refused to tell the Labour Party Sekakus to back any particular aspirants for the leadership position. Speaking at a meeting with elected mem uh, lawmakers of the platform uh, of Labour Party in Abuja on Saturday, P2B insisted, directed the lawmakers elect to exercise their discretion. He advised them to support their preferred aspirants as a group, adding that such moves will enhance their bargaining power. On a hearing, that is the word from. A, a, a wisdom man. He gonna tell you to follow APC, PDP, CPP, NMPP, or follow your own Labour Party member. But he said what? If you people are going, make sure you support your preferred candidate and as a team, not a Ndina Abapia, Ndana Abu Gele. Us again, the Homa, that it will draw us back in what we are doing. According to Gringo Peter Ubi. So uh, Labour Party uh Elected members, when I go there, make on a do what, make on a uh, uh, follow what uh, your principal tell you, so that uh, nobody will mistake you people like you people are not one. Why Buhari claimed that uh, Tunumbu won 2023 presidential election? This one is coming from the office of the PDP spokesperson, Daniel Buala. The spokesman for the People's Democratic Party PDP Presidential Campaign Council, Daniel Boala, has revealed the reason President Mamadou Buhari claimed Bola Ahmed Tunumbu won the 2023 presidential selection. Recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had declared Tunumbu of all Progressive Congress, APC, as a winner of the February 25th presidential election. However, during a meeting, with members of the Progressive Governors Forum at his residence in Asorok on April 28th, Buhari said Tunumbu and the APC won the presidential election due to hard work and good strategy. Speaking in an interview with The Punch, Buhari said the president made the statement because he's leaving, adding that the Nigerian leader has said so many things that, can't, uh, that can be considered conflicting. When asked if Buhari when asked if Buhari made that statement for Tunumbu to treat him well in retirement, he said, that is one, but the second thing is that Buhari is leaving. He's, he has said so many things that can be considered 
as conflicting. On one occasion, he will say, we have done better than everyone. On another occasion, he will say, I have tried my best, forgive me. In another occasion, he will say, I know that Nigerians are not happy with me on this and on that. <laughs> Begora the pinpointer because this man really dealt with the whole Nigerians. Recently, he said, when he retired, he will go to Daura, but if he is dis disturbed, he will go to the Niger Republic. The thing is, the old man had tried his best, and someone like me, who had defended him in the past, cannot be, cannot, cannot but appreciate the fact of his uh, intentions. When he leaves office, he will be rated a poor president on the ground that he was unable to checkmate his appointees, and that is the simple truth of the matter. No president in Nigeria has not taken the time to checkmate his people. Bugari never sacked anybody. If you see one or two sack appointees, it is because the people fought to a point where he could no longer say no. And that is the problem that Bugari and his cohorts put us into. And that is why we are, we are where we are, where we are, where we are today. <laughs> if now our vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, so my wonderful people, as on the listing, make sure you are sharing, you know, as you are sharing, make sure you are commenting, as you are commenting, make sure you are subscribing, liking, so that uh, YouTube can as well uh, recommend this, uh, my video to other people out there who cares to know and who cares to watch and listen to the good message and the uh, gospel of truth I brought to us this very day. The last year, but not the least, Presidential tribunal, all eyes are on the Nigerian judiciary. Obi Ezekwesiri lamenting. A former minister of education, Obi Ageli Ezekwesiri, on Monday stated that the Nigerian judiciary is being closely watched by people both in Nigeria and around the world. In a tweet on Monday, Ezekwesiri prayed for the five justices to maintain utmost integrity and firmly uphold the rule of law. She also hoped that the judges will be cautious when making decisions with the fear of Lord guiding them. This statement comes as presidential election petition tribunal proceedings begin in Abuja on Monday. Eze Kwesele cited a passage from the Bible, 2 Chronicles 19, 5-7, to to remind the justice that they are judging on behalf of the Lord. She emphasized the importance of judiciary independence in Nigeria's democracy and wisdom for and wish for wisdom for the presidential election tribunal to do the right thing. The former minister wrote, All eyes at home and abroad are now on the Nigerian judiciary. Let them restore the trust that the people have on them and also they have on their leaders. May the Lord help those, our five justices, to act with the utmost integrity and uphold the rule of law at all costs, thereby advancing judicial independence and our democracy. After he said he pray finish, he said, no, she said, amen. He, she, she said to the judges, or she said to the judges, consider what you are doing, for you do not judge for man, but for the Lord, who is with you, when you render any judgment. Now, then let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Be very careful what you do, for the Lord our God will have no part in all unrighteousness or partiality. Or the talking of a or the taking of a bride, Second Chronicles nineteen five to seven, a word of wisdom for the present presidential election tribunal. This one is coming from our beloved uh, former uh, minister of education, Obiadeli Ezekwesi of Nigeria. So my wonderful people and the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, do we don't uh, try for us today for ourselves for ourselves. For everybody, that is where that is why we need to carry our kaya because our time don't the knock parapo parapo. In case you never subscribe to my channel, I have said this countless times. You need to subscribe to do what to keep this ministry moving because without you, there will be no Okuta Daily Talk, and without Okuta Daily Talk, you will not have the kind of news I am giving because everybody have their own way of life. So, my wonderful people, make sure you do what you share this video. Make it, let it go viral. Let every news and crimes of this country get to know about it. And may they do what? May they also have the glimpse of what it is all about. Have a night there, my people. And may the good Lord bless us in a K. Ori, Afro, and Before my great day that represents the four corners of the earth. 
As you do this, may the Almighty to God be among your Bless us, the Father. Bless us, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I am signing out. Bye for now, my people. Kemesiano.